Hi everyone and welcome back to Art with Mrs. S. Today we get to paint our gumball machines and I'm going to show you what colors we're going to be using for that. But to begin, we need to look at this thing right here. This is not a colorful pizza or pie. This is a color wheel. So our color wheel kind of gives us some options here. It shows us not only our warm and our cool colors, it also shows us some tips and tricks with our primary colors our secondary colors, and sometimes it can help us with deciding on what colors we need to mix to make a new color. So right here too, I have my primary color red and yellow, and those would make orange. I also have blue and red that would make my secondary color purple. And we have blue and yellow that would mix to make green. Today I'm not too worried about my secondary color, so I'm gonna pull those off my color wheel here. We're gonna be using red, yellow, and blue. And those are special because there's no colors or pigments that you can mix to make these colors, but we use them to make our other colors. So I have my paint palette here today. I'll be using red, yellow, and blue paint. And again, those are primary colors. So let's go ahead and get out our paints today. Here is my real paint palette. It is just a paper plate and I have some Crayola Tempera washable paint with me today. This is a great project if you wanna finger paint, um, you could finger paint or you could even use something like a Q-tip if you don't wanna waste a paintbrush today. So I have with me my um, gumball machine that we made last time and I have it on the side so that you can really see that big white circle. That's where we're gonna be putting our primary color gumballs today. I always like to start with my lightest primary color first. So my lightest would be yellow and yellow is gonna go ahead. I'm gonna dip in here with one side of my Q-tip and I'm gonna swirl to make a nice gumball inside of my gumball machine. Each time I make a new gumball, I make sure I dip my Q-tip really gently I'm not painting or drawing or scribble scrabbling to make a line. I'm swirling the Q-tip to make a nice circle. And notice too, I'm watching where my, my hand's at so I'm not dragging it across the wet paint. I'm also staggering my gumballs. So my placement on my gumball is changing so that I don't make a big mess and then I have my yellow gumballs just as spread out as I'll have my blue and my red. I think that's good for these gumballs. I'm gonna leave this in my plate. <clears throat> and let's go ahead and we're gonna do red next. So red, our other primary color today, R-E-D, red. I'm gonna take a new Q-tip and dip in red. I'm not mixing yet, so I'm just gonna dip my Q-tip not going on top of my other dots yet. Dip, dip, dip. And you don't have to have a perfect um, or same amount. I always say about 10 is good, but you could do more or you can do less. Still watching where I'm laying my hand, still dipping my Q-tip in all this gooey paint. And now I'm ready for my last Primary color today. So I have a fresh Q-tip. I'm gonna dip it in my blue, B-L-U-E, blue. And we're gonna add blue paint to the rest of my gumball machine. It's really nice to still have some white showing through your gumballs. I haven't mixed any of my colors. We won't be doing that today. You're gonna just go ahead and add in blue. Careful not to touch all the other gumballs. It's kind of a challenge to try to fill up this gumball machine, but also not to touch the other gumballs. We don't want to mess up my other gumballs in there. We don't want them to look mushy or melted or squished all around. Now this will take a little while to dry. Sometimes it can take a couple hours. If you didn't use a lot of paint, sometimes it takes just a few minutes, but I always like to let it dry overnight. So when you're all done, we don't need any of this paint anymore. Um, we could get rid of it or you could do a free paint and just do um, a painting with all your colors. And if we have time today, we'll do that too. When you're all done though, we're gonna set this in an area to dry. 
and then they'll be yours to take home. Great job today. I can't wait to see all of your primary color gumball machines.